Chai, the third seeds from Thailand, finding a way to uh, just uh, wriggle through that very tight mixed doubles. Confirmation that they came through 21-19 in that deciding game. And they'll await the winner of Ellis and Smith and Jordan and Octavianti. That'll be later on this evening. Confirmation of what we've witnessed. Victor Axelson came through in a very sticky match against the talented young Malaysian. Li Zizia, then Du and Li of China in straight games. And another long one, 83 minutes of terrific badminton in the third match. But now, there's never a dull moment when these two take to centre stage, is there? It's Gideon and Sukamulyo of Indonesia as top seeds in the men's doubles. The take on Li Yang and Wang Chi Lin from the very top half of the men's doubles draw. The top seeds against the seventh seeds, the Indonesians leading the way out. Looking very focused and straight faced. And between them and that final spot are the seventh seeds from Chinese Taipei. Well, Gideon and Sukumulyo have won the last two meetings and indeed have yet to concede a game to these two. So Li Yang and Wang Chilin better be at their very best. It's going to be a very tough ask to take on the twice former champions here in Gideon and Sukumulyo. The top seeds won in 2017 and 18, but they lost last year in the opening round. So how will these two from Chinese Taipei fair today. Marcus, red? Black, Black please. Red, please. Black. Receive. Receive who? Uh, Wang to receive. Kevin. Kevin, sir, this which side? That side. Thank you. So the Indonesians choosing the near end. One Chilean won the toss and elected to receive serve as we take a look at the profile of the top seats. Birthday boy earlier this week, the 29-year-old Marcus Finaldi Gideon from Jakarta. And, uh, Kevin Sanjaya Sukumulyo. Five years his junior, but what a treat he is to watch play. Just such a firework around the net. The very pinnacle of the game, of course. And they last year won 12 of 25 World Tour titles that they'd amassed. There's their route through. They were tested in that opening round, uh, unusually against the Canadians that were promoted. 21-14, uh, that was in the deciding game after 40 minutes and then took down the Malaysians yesterday on the way through. On to Wang Chilin. Same age as Kevin Sukumulyuk from Kaohsiung. And his partner, Li Yang. From Taipei, the Chinese Taipei capital. Well, they're the seventh seats, and this is their route through. Again, really tested by the Chinese in the quarterfinals. Huang and Liu uh, went the distance, almost an hour of action there. Very, very tough one. 21 14 in the deciding game. Beating up the Germans play. in their opening match. That was in straight games. And then Ong and Teo in their second match. 
Uh, Wang Chilin is uh, he won a bronze at the World Championship with his former partner Chen Hongling in 2018 and that was really a fantastic effort from the two players got all the way up to number four in the world ranking but it's definitely in favor of uh, Gideon and, and Sukumoyo in 2018 they had nine wins in total on the world circuit and in 2019 they had eight titles so that's quite impressive that you can be so consistent and they have been number one on the world ranking for 141 weeks so for the seven seeds at the top of your picture from chinese taipei in blue do what they've never done before and somehow earn themselves a game against the might of the top seeds ladies and gentlemen on my right, Li Yang and Wang Chai Lin, Chinese Taipei. And on my left, Marcus Fernandin Gideon, Kevin Sanjay Sukumoljo, Indonesia. Kevin Sanjay Sukumoljo to serve to Wang Chai Lin, love all, play. And what's the mindset when you're playing doubles and you've so never beaten a team before? One, you're 0 four. and 2. They look like they've come out here to enjoy this. They're smiling and, and, and going to just really treasure the moment. Yeah, of course they have. Uh, it's, it's a great opportunity, but you also have to consider that uh, Wang Chi Lin and uh, Li Yang, they're a new pair. They are very new on, so on the so circuit. The As I mentioned earlier, two, Wang Chi Lin used to play with uh, Chen Hong Ling. So they have only partnered for a very short time and within one year they made it to top 10 in the world which I think is quite extraordinary. It's a good pair and Wang Chi Lin has got one of the best smashes in the game. He really, really hits hard which can be extremely useful in this hole. But it's all about, I know we, we keep saying it but uh, the most outstanding men's doubles player in the world is obviously this man in the picture, Kevin Sukumoyo. And Three, if you want to beat this one. pair, you've got to keep a lot of pressure on his partner, Gideon, Marcus Fernaldi Gideon. Lucky break off the top of the tape. Talking of tape, there's a lot of tape over the shoulder so of uh, Sukumoyo. Two, three. Let's hope it's nothing untoward. So it's over. Four, two. Indonesian flag there. Masses of fans all around the world, these two. They're cheeky. Characterful. We love watching them. Block off the backhand there from Sukumilio. Five, two, quick. Look at that smash. Oh, that's bad luck. 
That was a chance to take from uh, Gideon. Three, five. And he read it right, didn't he? He did. So smiling and kind of chuckling whenever you watch these two seven, Indonesians, seven, don't you? It's just always six, fun. It's, it's great entertainment, and yeah. they have a following around the world uh, that you hardly ever see in badminton. So many people are following this pair. But it's also interesting to mention that uh, Li Yang and Wang Chilin, I, I, I don't think I can recall I've seen anyone play so many tournaments in one year in 12 months they are as you mentioned number seven on the world ranking but it's based on 28 tournaments that is only your 10 best result that counts but they have played 28 tournaments in 12 months they are on the race to Tokyo number seven and that's based alone on 24 tournaments Of course, uh, Gideon and Sukabolio, they are number one on the list when it comes to the race to Tokyo. Yeah. It must be just so tough playing the Indonesians because you, you so, blink so and you miss it. It's just so on you, the shuttle, in a flash, isn't it? They're just simply the fastest team around. But that won't deter him from taking it on again. Once again, a shot from Sukamolio, the finishing shot. Of course, he had many options, but the way he put that one away. Try to have a look. That's he played a put away la last seven, night in seven. the quarterfinals where he turned the other way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's a showman, isn't it? But we love Eight, that in him. It's five. that sort of impish cheek that people love. Yeah, we are not all the same, and that's good. So far, uh, Li Yang and Wang Chilin has not been successful in adding on pressure to Gideon. And uh, the scoreboard is really showing it. 9-5 up for the two Indonesians. Oh! And it's interesting to see that uh, even Ten, Gideon is uh, quite decisive at the net. He's won two or three rallies intercepting at the net, which is a little bit unusual for him. from the table of the world number ones. Yeah, but this is awesome display by the two players from their Chinese Taipei. I really think they, they played well here. Awesome attack all the way. They sort of waited for these counter-attacking opportunities, and when it came, they really finished it. Seven, ten. And it's interesting to see how many times they're flicking. Their serve, the two players from Chinese Taipei. Quite prepared to defend the first one. Eight, 
and a lot of pairs have been successful flicking to Gideon. As the smash we just saw here becomes very, very flat. So the top seeds, Gideon and Sukamulio, head to the turn with a three-point cushion, 11 points to eight. And the coach, Harry, always there to help the Indonesian doubles done so well over the years. And it's very interesting to see that uh, former partner for Wang Chi Lim, Chen Hong Ling, is now the coach of this pair. Step right from the court and the partnerships into the coaching position in men's doubles in Chinese Taipei. I am sure he's doing a great job having a very calming influence. And a great ambassador for badminton for Chinese Taipei. The only one I can remember that actually used to play badminton with his glasses on. Everyone else is using contact lenses, but he was playing with glasses. Hence the name Harry Potter. <laughs> Nickname. And here we have coach Harry IP. Really instrumental in the men's doubles in Indonesia. Really done well over the years. Well, he's tall and imposing, isn't he, Wang Chilin? Quite a force, a big presence on court, but he's not been offered a lot overhead, understandably. But he's not just a brute, he's got lovely hand skills and touch as well, as you saw in that last point. Yes, extremely, very decisive, Sukamoyo, when he intercepts at the net, leaving no chance. Yeah, it's a bit of a mistake now for the two players from Chinese Taipei. They play block shots but they forget to follow 15, up on them, which means that even though they play a good block shot, they're just forced to lift the next. They have to follow up. There's just some of the numbing power from the tall, imposing Wang Chi Lin. 12, 15. Thank you. 
But one can also feel sometimes for Gideon and Sukamori that, you know, every single time they walk on court, they are the favourites to win. The pressure is always on them. Everybody expects them to do so well. And for two years, or almost three years now, we're talking about 141 weeks they've been number one in the world on that world ranking. And it must be a tremendous pressure walking on court every time and have to perform. Everybody just expects them to win. Well, that was a thick year for uh, Marcus Finaldi Gideon. I think it took a nice deflection pretty quickly, but yeah, yeah it happens. No bad intent. No. Oh, what a combination. The deadly pace of Sukumulio and then the drop from Gideon. saw Wang Chiling following up on his uh, approach shot. But look at that, Li Yang is not following up. There's almost a sense of inevitability, isn't there, whenever this man gets out the net and he's on the front foot, driving the point along. Look at this. So it's over. 18, 15. And he does it with that sort of nonchalant, relaxed look as well. Too cool for school. Three-point cushion, the top seeds. That's out. Well, they met in the Sudaman Cup of uh, May last year, and uh, the best that... Lee and Wang have ever done is take 17 points in any one game off of the top seeds. Today, maybe that's a personal quest, wanting to get beyond and possibly even earn their first game of the former champions. Going for a hat trick of titles here, the two in white. from Kevin Sukumulia. That was rapier-like, you barely 19, see it in slow motion, 17. look at that. Deadly quick, so loose and fast, but the visual skills to see it that early, stand out. Harry likes what he's seeing right now. So pressure on this so from the young 18 20. No, 
Now that's what we love, isn't it? When he does that sort of stuff. The flying Sukumuyo leaving the shuttle. Entertainment to the max as they secure the opening game. 21 points to 18 after 18 minutes of fun. <laughs> Look at the reaction from Wang Chilin. in a good school when he parked at Marcus Kido in the beginning of his career and he actually before this partnership was formed him and Marcus Kido got to the semi-final of the All England back in 2014 so he learned the ropes in a partnership with Marcus Kido and uh, I think he benefited tremendously from that but a long play, play. Sukumolio to serve. So this is the one love. Good attack from the back from Sukumulia. We always place this interception at the net, but look at this a smash from the back as well. Good placement. Judgment well left on the back line. So this other two, three. Lost his footing there a little. Five, yeah, but two. I think it was really good play from Wang Chilin. This time he's playing the net. He played that block shot and he follows up and he closes down the net. And I think that's something we should see some more from the combination from Chinese Taipei. Well, it's been called wide okay, by the Lions judge. Lojo challenges called out. So. Up to Hawkeye again. In fact, I think it's the first time in the match, isn't it? It is the first yeah. challenge.
good call from the last judge. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. 6-2. Play. Well, for a moment, that had got behind him. And he's got very quick racket action. How he made that shot off the net, I'll never know. But nevertheless, Wang Chilin and Li Yang is in the lead, 7-3, and I think they've had a very good start here to the second game. Done well. Let's. Chilin. If I said this, stop it. Chilin. Thank you. <laughs> So do you want to have a fun fact of the day? Yeah, go on. I used to play against uh, the dad of uh, Marcus, uh, Marcus Gideon. Did you really? I did. And how did you go against him? Was that singles or doubles? They were singles. Did you take him? Yeah, I met him in Singapore last year. And suddenly I said, oh, hello, how are you? And everything's OK, yeah, great. He said, you know, my son, that's uh, Marcus Gideon. That was quite okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can see wow. now. I can see now. Wow. That was quite good fun. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Fun fact of the day. That's nice. I like that. Okay. What else did he say? Anything else poignant? Or? No. <laughs> no, no. It was just a short exchange. Yeah. Wow. How good was he then, Dad? What was the ranking? Any ideas? Oh! You're going to be nice now, aren't you? Six, so no. seven. We did not have rankings in those days. It only came into play in 1990, 1991, because it was used as the base for qualification for the Olympics in 92, where badminton was on the Olympic program for the first time in 1992 in Barcelona. So we did not have an official ranking at the time. Well, top seeds here have done very well to pull this back to level. I've been trailing, what was it, 7 3. And somehow they stole that point, though. The Lian Wang. Stopping the run of points at four for the Eight, Indonesians. Seven. Momentary laps from Sukumun. What happens? The speed and tempo that he plays at is unsurprising. But he's full of deception and trickery, isn't he, with his wand? Nine, seven. And it just makes it such a compelling watch. Five. Service over. Eight, nine. Clash of rackets, and uh, I think Gideon uh, Sukumulio has come off worse. Broken frame after that one. Service over. Ten, eight. Eleven, eight, interval. So again, Lee and Wang. Break to the front in game two, holding on to an 11 8 lead here. It's very encouraging from the Chinese Taipei athletes. Dia buka, kamu pokoknya kalau habis net, jagain netnya, mas tengahnya. Kalau dia ngangkat, senyum yang ngantem. 
pasti kalau netnya kamu tipis dia ngangkat tuh juga banyak nanggung ya maksudnya peka gitu ya kadang-kadang dikombinasi belok kadang-kadang dikombinasi dorong setengah gitu aja oke okay. eh terus pegang depannya kayak gitu terus enyo ya tuh going onto the carpet, wasn't it, that one? It was, it was way out. Still chose to play it. So this over, nine, that one. 11. So far out. strong interception but once again 11 all i just don't get that they really just even attempt to do it just get it away from him he is so good intercepting he's, he's a shuffle magnet though isn't he he just seems to be there all the time covering seemingly the majority of the court look at this Brilliant, dynamic play from the Indonesians. Yeah, they scored the first uh, four points after the interval 12, here. 11. And now in the lead. Still like to see the Chinese Taipei player become a little bit more aggressive. As I say, play the block shot, follow up, make sure that they get the lift. But it's, of course, not so easy when uh, Sukumolio is not there. But still, just lifting and lifting and lifting in this way is probably not going to do it for them. 13, 11. Pressure continues from the twice former champions. 14, they really 11. are on a tear of momentum here. <laughs> Seven points. 15, 11. For Indonesia, successively. So this over. 17, only pair in the world that's really been quite successful against uh, Gideon and Sukumoyo when it comes to lifting and defending and waiting for their chances and all that. That is obviously Hiri Yuki Endo and Yuja Watanabe. They have really been successful in their defensive work against the Indonesians, but such nonchalance there from Sukumoyo mid rally with a cross backhand block. Change. <laughs> you have to chuckle, don't you? It's just there. The forehand block. Amazing. Utterly amazing. And it looks like uh, that, of course, uh, Gideon and Sukumoyo goes into the final of tomorrow. And there is a chance that 
18 Endo and Watanabe also win their semi-final this Whoa! afternoon or later this evening which means that uh, we have a serious 19, clash possibly 12. tomorrow in the final good smash from Wang Chilin there down the line haven't seen enough of that smash today 19. It's a fun watch, isn't it, as always. And after almost 35 minutes of action, the top seeds, Gideon and Sukumulio. Seven match points. First time of asking. Delighting fans worldwide with more scintillating badminton. Marcus Finaldi Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukumulio find the way again in straight games to increase their head-to-head -head torment of their opponents to 3-0 now. Match it's a fine win in some style. A real treat to watch. Expectation on them is great. But they are doing very, very well. And, uh, well, another terrific performance, sharing thoughts, but a good win over the world number sevens. Again, through to the men's doubles final tomorrow, Gideon and Sukumulio.